Hi guys, how you doing? It's the message for this Friday, the 5th of March. Well, before we get underway, how would you like to win this signed match ball from our game, our FA Cup game against Blackpool earlier uh, this season? You can win this. There's a great competition coming up. More of that in a moment. Well, firstly, how you doing, guys? Uh, it's important in this difficult time, you're taking good care of yourselves, looking after each other, looking after your families. We are all looking after our families here at Eastbourne Borough, and uh, let's hope it's not gonna be too long till we're back to some normality. We now know there is a roadmap for us to hopefully, fingers crossed, do that. Well, let's look what's happened, then we'll talk about what's happening, and then more news of this fantastic competition that's coming up. Uh, very, very soon. Well, last Saturday, we played Queen's Park Rangers here at Priory Lane. The scoreline was Eastbourne Borough 1, Queen's Park Rangers 3. That wasn't the most important factor. It was a great game, really worthwhile. Some good match time for all of our players. Uh, Dean Cox scoring our goal. But as I say, a 3-1 defeat. Massive thanks, though, to my friend at Queen's Park Rangers Football Club, Chris Ramsey, for the fixture. Then on Tuesday evening, another fantastic training game. That was against AFC Wimbledon. The scoreline was Eastbourne Borough 2, AFC Wimbledon 2. But that perhaps doesn't tell the story. An unbelievable display from us. Played so well, but we were 2-0 down with about 10, 10, 12 minutes to go. And then Dean Cox scored a contender uh, for goal of the season. Fantastic goal from Coxie. And then late on, Charlie Lambert was there again to score the equaliser. Massive thanks this time to the AFC Wimbledon first team manager, Mark Robinson, and their academy manager, Michael Hamilton. So, great couple of games. This Saturday, we travel to our friends Dorking Wanderers for another training game, a 1 p.m. a 1 p.m. kickoff. And that's going to be live streamed courtesy of Dorking Wanderers. News of that on the social media platforms. And then we should have a game here at Priory Lane this Tuesday, the 9th of March. More news of that. Uh, very, very soon. Well, let's get to how you can win that F, uh, FA Cup match ball from the Blackpool game back in November. Well, it's now going to be a time for us to announce you can pick your Eastbourne Borough best 11 uh, of all time. Well, do you want Frank Owen goal? Do you want Lewis Carey? Do you want Dean Lightwood? It's all a personal choice. In defence, do you want Darren Baker? Do you want Ben Austin? Do you want Ian Simpemba? In midfield, do you want Matt Smart, Matt Crabb, or even this season's uh, leading goal scorer, Chris Welkdale? Up front, loads to sh choose from. Yemi Odebaye, Andy Atkin, Charlie Walker. That's just to name but a few. The choice is all down to you. The competition runs to March the 31st. A panel will then pick the, what they feel is the best side, and you'll get, the winner will get that FA Cup match ball from the Blackpool game. So something really exciting. You can enter the old fashioned way by post sending it to us here at Priory Lane, or you can email commercial at ebfc.co.uk. So a great competition, something for us all to enjoy. Well, it's come to that time this week, the supporter of the week, and this surely must be the youngest Eastbourne Borough supporter, and it's Florence Critchlow. Florence, she's just a week old, and she's already going to be signed up as an Eastbourne Borough fan. Many congratulations to Mark Critchlow, her father, and Sophie May, her mother. So, our Eastbourne Borough supporter of the week, certainly our youngest, is Florence Critchlow. Up the borough! 